So one of the new features of the iPhone 15 Pro Max is the new telephoto lens. So it has a 120 millimeter full frame equivalent lens on here. And I'm gonna be comparing this to this Sony lens, which this Sony lens is a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. So it is a zoom lens and I'll be shooting it at 120 millimeters. So that way we have the comparable focal length. And the camera that I'm using here with the Sony is the Sony ZV-E1. Now this is more designed for like video and low light performance, but the reason I'm using it is because it has a 12 megapixel sensor on this camera, which is gonna be the same as the iPhone with the 120 millimeter lens. So that way we kind of have a, a comparable focal length, comparable uh, megapixels, and yeah, we'll just do some, some shots, and then later on we'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons and see what we get. Now keep in mind here that this is not meant to be like a fair comparison at all. I mean, obviously the Sony camera and the Sony lens costs a lot more than the iPhone does. This is more just for fun, just to kind of see what results we get. But I am pretty curious to see like, how does this new iPhone lens hold up to a professional level lens? So let's find out. All right, so for this shot, I'm just focusing up on that peak right there. So I have it on the, the 5X setting there on the iPhone. That would be the 120 millimeter lens. I also have it set to shooting, shooting raw, and I'm just gonna focus, I'm gonna lock in my focus point right there. And I'm also, uh, I also wanna engage the self timer here so I don't shake the camera at all when I press the shutter. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the shutter now. Then after three seconds, took the shot there. All right, and for the Sony here, I already got the shot framed up. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the shot. I have that on a self timer as well. All right, so I'm just walking around now trying to find the next shot. And there's a bunch of moss on the trees out here. So I might find a good mossy tree to shoot and uh, kind of zoom in on it and get some of that glorious detail. All right, so here's some moss right there on the tree. And I'm just gonna focus right there. And Sony time, take the shot there. So one thing I wanna point out here is that I'm not really doing this lens full justice today by using it on a 12 megapixel camera. Obviously we're doing that because we're comparing it to the iPhone, but really this lens is capable of resolving a whole lot more detail than 12 megapixels. You know, something like the a7R5, which is a 61 megapixel camera, you know, that would pair really nicely with this lens and you'd be able to get some really nice crisp detail. But anyways, just wanted to point that out. Let's continue on with the video. All right, so here's the next shot, just kind of focusing on those leaves right there. Something like this. So I'm just gonna focus on this bottom leaf, we'll lock that in and take that shot there. All right, now we got the Sony here, focus on the same spot. Go ahead and snap that. Yay, I have a mosquito bite right on my face, awesome. So since I had to lose blood to make this video, make sure you go down below and uh, give this video a like, all right? All right, I have another shot framed up right here. And I'm just going to focus here on the tree in the foreground. I'm also going to drop this exposure down a little bit because it was kind of blowing out that sky. Maybe something like that. And we'll go ahead and take that shot. And we'll take the shot with the Sony here. So I'm just gonna shoot this scene here with the phone first. Just gonna focus right there in the center. Go ahead, take that. And next up is the Sony. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump on the computer and compare some shots. So here we are inside of Adobe Lightroom and I have all of the images that I captured here. Now remember that I shot all of these in RAW. Now when you shoot in a RAW format, typically those images are gonna look pretty flat at, straight out of the camera. So you, you know, those are really meant to be edited and post-processed. Uh, but you know, with the Apple Pro RAW format, usually they do a little bit more processing with those. Uh, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and just jump right in here and compare some shots. Now I do want to point out a couple things. So first of all, there's a different aspect ratio between the Apple files and the Sony files. So the Apple has like a four by three aspect ratio 
and the Sony has a 3x2. Now, the other thing here is when we're looking at images on a global level like this, you know, each image is taking up roughly like four and a half megapixels worth of area on my computer monitor. So, you know, when you're taking you know, two 12 uh, megapixel images and you're looking at both of them at like four and a half megapixels each, it's a little bit tough to, to tell the difference. So what I like to do is just go into 100% here. That way we have a one-to-one -one pixel ratio between the images and the computer monitor. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, I do see here that the exposures are a little bit off. So it looks like it's slightly overexposed here on the Apple. But, uh, you know, we could still kind of bring these over and just, just compare. Maybe look down here in the trees. And really, the, you know, they're pretty comparable actually. I mean the Sony is slightly sharper to my eye But this Apple file here looks pretty good actually. I can see a lot of detail there Like in these rocks and the trees and everything That is actually pretty impressive Wow, okay, so let's go ahead. We'll move on to this next shot. So this is uh, You know that big bunch of moss and let's go in here and take a look. Let me drag that over. Okay, so now I see a huge difference here. So the, the Sony over here, I can just make out so much more like fine detail in here in the moss. Whereas with the, the Apple file here, it looks a little bit mushy. Like you just really can't make out all these like individual strands like you can in the Sony. You can make out some of them here, but it just doesn't quite look Nearly, it doesn't look nearly as good, really. This this image. So the last image, they were a lot more comparable, whereas this one, the Sony is really just kind of blowing the Apple file away there. All right. So this next shot here, of the leaf. So if you remember, I focused down here on this leaf down there. Bring these in a little closer. And it's kind of the same thing with the uh, Sony file. I'm just able to see a lot more detail here versus over here. You can still see, you know, some good detail there, but it's just not, it's not as clear. So yeah, like even, you know, this, this uh, leaf over here, everything looks good on the Sony. It looks kind of mushy over there on the Apple. All right, let's move on to the next shot. All right, so I focused in here on this tree. And it's really kind of hard for me to tell the difference between uh, these two images, at least the tree. They both look really good actually to me. And I'm kind of looking at these trees in the back now as well. I definitely see a little bit more crispness to the file over here on the Sony uh, versus the Apple, but the Apple, it looks really good still. I mean, this is pretty pretty good for a phone. That, that definitely looks pretty good for a phone. All right, and we got this next shot. Now, definitely there's like a color and exposure difference here, it seems. Uh, but let's go ahead and zoom into Kind of the area that I focused and it's you know it's a little tricky with the color difference but I definitely see more detail in the Sony file but the Apple I mean it looks good like this this looks pretty good to me it's really it's kind of hard to tell the difference actually in a lot of areas some areas I can tell the difference but some areas it's <laughs> they're Pretty comparable. That is really impressive for a phone. All right, and then I have this uh, photo of the troll. I focused on its uh, this eye right here in both shots. And yeah, I mean the Sony, you know, I can just see a lot more fine detail here in the wood, but the Apple looks pretty, pretty good still. Got this nice like birdhouse uh, necklace. <laughs> it's pretty cool. If you look at the hair so up here, so these these sticks up here, it looks a lot clearer on the Sony for sure versus the uh, Apple over there. 
But again, the Apple is looking really good. I think that this uh, new lens on the Apple is a pretty good performer for a smartphone. So the iPhone might not be as good as a professional level camera and a professional level lens, but this is truly an amazing piece of technology here. I mean, to have those three cameras, the three lenses, fits in your pocket, does all the smartphone stuff, truly an amazing piece of tech here. Now, if you wanna take the camera system to the next level on your iPhone, whether you have a newer iPhone or an older iPhone, go to sandmark.com and I have a 10% off discount code in the description of this video that you can use to get 10% off your order. So check that out. All right, well, that is it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next video.